So the ranger assessment is to bring uh, folks out of New Hampshire, soldiers and airmen, and give them the opportunity to see if they have what it takes to go down to ranger school and be successful. The first event is the ranger physical fitness test. So that's push-ups, sit-ups, a five mile run, and pull-ups. The second thing we do is a combat water survival test to assess how capable of a swimmer they are and if there's a fear of water. The third thing that we do is a ruck march or land nav. The 12 mile ruck is just to make sure that they can move the 12 miles in under the three hours with the 50 to 65 pounds on their back. And then land nav, you have to pass land nav at ranger school. You have to be able to navigate using a compass and a protractor and a map. And then the, the last thing that we do is a written test. And that's just an assessment of their knowledge of small unit tactics. Some of the things that we evaluate here and the way we stack them deliberately in increasing that stress or false stress where you get an opportunity to see who possesses the attributes that we can't teach. So I think a lot of the word that's going around is that it's a selection and it's not, it's an assessment. So what we want is for soldiers to come out, give it a shot, see where they're at, we assess how they perform, and then we kind of put them on a plan on how to get there. Because the intent of the ranger assessment is to get people qualified to go to ranger school and for them to come back and be successful. I think the biggest thing is are they mentally tough, meaning they're not going to quit, and are they a team player? Because those are really two of the biggest variables to success at ranger school. So anybody could benefit from it, so I don't encourage anybody even considering it to uh, show up and give it a shot.